Good morning everyone. I actually haven't spoken to you for a couple of days, not that you can tell um, from watching this, but I honestly, I had a couple of days where I, and I don't have any makeup on today, as you can see, um, but I had a couple of days where I just felt rubbish and I felt really low. I felt like I couldn't be, but I just felt very like unmotivated, demotivated. Uh, I'm motivated, whatever. Uh, I, I just felt uh, like that. And we all get that sometimes. And I just couldn't be bothered to film yesterday. I was like, oh, I can't be bothered. I'm not going to do it. Um, and so I didn't. So it was snowing and I just, I wasn't, I was like, oh, it's snowing, is it? <laughs> I just, it, it's really weird because today I feel fine. And if it snowed today, I'd be like, oh, wow. And it actually looked really pretty. All the white blossoms all over the trees in the garden. Um, and then obviously the white snow coming down, it looked really pretty. I didn't even film it. I didn't take any pictures. It's crazy how just some days you just, the things that you would normally go, wow, you like, you just don't care. It's, it's crazy how when you get in one of those moods where you just feel like that, like nothing cheers you up. It's really weird. So yeah, yesterday, and I'm sharing it because everybody gets these days. It's normal. Um, and they don't last because look at me now, I'm fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just didn't want to do anything. I was like, I don't want to film. I don't care that it's snowing. I was just like, I thought I'll have a nice bath. That did nothing. The thing, and I, I love a nice hot bath with candles and everything. Nothing, I just, everything I was doing, I was just like, mm, just feeling like sorry for myself basically. Or I don't even know what it was. I just didn't feel anything. I just felt really rubbish basically. Um, but today I feel fine. Yay. Um, but yeah, we all get it. We all get it sometimes. It is perfectly normal and you just have to ride the wave because you'll come out the other side and you'll feel fine again. You'll be like, oh, what was the problem? I don't even know. I'm fine now. Um, so yeah, today I'm absolutely fine. The dogs are in the garden. I'm just, I'm just, um, keeping an eye out to see what they're doing. Hang on. Ah, anyway, they're fine. Um, you know, it's like children when they're quiet or you can't see them or you can't see them when it's quiet and you're like, what are they doing? They're doing something naughty. So, um, anyway, yeah, so that's what's been going on. Today I'm going to the gym. It is crazy because one week ago, I'm doing another class um, and one week ago today, it was so hot. And when I did the class last week, oh my gosh, I was wearing the same outfit. You can't really see because I've got this jacket on, but I was wearing my, well, it's here actually, my long sleeved black top. I showed you it because, um, yeah, I've got my new leggings, which I love. Um, so I'm wearing the same outfit again. And honestly, I felt ridiculous last week because it was so hot. It was so hot that my husband got a tan on his face. He did a half marathon last weekend. And when he came back, his nose and his forehead were like pink. And then the next day, they'd gone brown, like his, his, he's actually got a tan from doing the run last weekend. That's how hot it was. Um, and so I was running, did some running in the class last week and I felt ridiculous because everybody else in the class had like the thin spaghetti strap, vest tops and little tops or whatever. And there's me wearing all black, long sleeved, um, you know, full leggings, not shorts or anything. And I felt ridiculous because it was so hot. I'm wearing all black, skin tight, you know, full body. I might as well be wearing a bodysuit. Um, and I felt a bit ridiculous because it was so hot. And one exactly one week later, it's freezing cold. I think it's like four degrees at the moment. Um, like it is so cold. So I've got the same outfit on again because it's just, I'm loving it at the moment because it's new. Um, and it's, it's crazy. Today I was going to wear a t-shirt. I thought it's too cold. I'm just gonna put my long sleeve top on again. So it's crazy how one week later, I think the top temperature today is like eight degrees. So exactly 10 degrees less than last week. Um, and it's breezy as well, it's quite windy, so it makes it feel even colder. But last week it was still, there was no breeze, there were no clouds, and it was 18, which for March is really warm, but it was lovely, um, really nice. Anyway, so that is that. So yes, I will bring you along with me. I love going there because to be honest, I love getting the shakes and the drinks. I don't know what it is, but I just love going to that vending machine and like 
buying myself a couple of little treats. It's not really treats, it's all healthy, but um, it feels like treats. And um, I get I get excited. When I used to go to the other gym, I used to do the exact same thing. I would get so excited for the end. I would buy a protein shake. And like, that was my highlight of the whole <laughs> trip. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to going over there. Um, today, I'm also going to be um, checking in at the salon um, as well. And I need to be at <laughs> that door, that door that um, got broken into, not broken, well, it did get broken into, but it was um, it was staff doing it um, because it was we were locked out. Uh, but yeah, the door, I'm gonna see if I can, it's, it's pretty much, it's, it is fixed, it's just doesn't look perfect. So I'm gonna see today if I can do something. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have a look. Anyway, that's what's going on today. I hope you're all well and I will catch up with you later. Okay, guys. So I am in the salon. Um, I have come to do a little paintwork and, <laughs> oh, honestly, yeah, I've come to just do the final touches to the door um, so that it's done and it's fixed but it just needs a little bit of paint work and stuff like that so i need to get on with that um yeah looking a little bit of a mess um and then i'm going to be going to the gym and doing a workout which i'm really looking forward to here we've got the vending machine and i went for these once again i love these protein waters um and protein shake Hey guys, can you actually see me? I don't know. So, I have been to the gym um, and I've also popped in the salon um, and I painted the door. Um, God, there was a split all the way down. It's like almost like a meter long, I would say, split on the door. Um, not fun, uh, but there we go. Um, but I, I decided to paint over it because to be honest, the only reason you could kind of see, it was like a split in the wood, um, and the only reason you could see it is because the doors, um, the wood was brown and it was showing through the color of the door. And so I thought, I wonder if I paint the wood, um, you know, you won't be able to, to tell. So I painted the split and you can't really see it now, so. You won't need to replace the door. It's not the main, it's not like the nice door, so it doesn't really matter as much. I'm just about to drive past them. I don't know if you'll see it in the um, camera, but it's right here. Um, will you be able to see it? No, you won't be able to see it. Um, but right there, one of my business, a business neighbor, I don't know if anybody watches El Toria, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel. Um, she has a business right there. I just went past it right around the corner from my business, so we are business neighbours, um, right around the corner from my salon. So, uh, yeah, she is right there, so if you know of her, then we are actually neighbours, which is which is nice. Um, yeah, I don't actually know of her, but um, I just know that she has a YouTube channel, um, and she recently opened a business. I saw the business, actually, when it first opened, I didn't know it was anything to do with her, and I saw it and I thought, oh, that looks really pretty. And I wasn't quite sure what, what it was. It opened, you know, way before my salon, and I thought, first of all, I thought it was a salon, um, and then I thought maybe it's, what did I think it was? I can't remember now. I remember thinking it was a salon initially because it's, you know, it's got flowers and it's pretty and everything. Um, and then, I can't remember what I thought it was in the end, but anyway, it's not a salon. Um, it's basically like an office space, you know, it's not a shop or anything like that, you can't go in there. But it looks like a salon or a shop or something because it is very pretty and it's very inviting. So you kind of want to like, go in and see what it is, but it's just office space. Um, but it does look very nice. So yeah, that's who's round the corner from me, which is nice. But like I said, I don't know her or anything. So there we go. Um, yeah. We also have, if anybody remembers, um, Gareth Gates from years ago, <laughs> from um, back in the day. If anybody remembers who that is, he also lives in this town. Um, 
neighbours, so he's also a neighbour. But um, I don't live in this town, I'm just like, I'm just visiting. It's just my business town, I don't actually live here. But, um, but yeah, Gareth Gates is here. Um, and he's been in my, my husband's gym um, a couple of times and things. But yes, not been in my salon. Don't think he'd want a treatment in there. Maybe he would, who knows? Um, but yeah, again, I don't know him, but it, he lives in this town. It's funny, it's a really small little town, so it's quite funny that it's like two known people who live here. There's probably more, but I'm not sure who they are. Can I just say, this town, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's really pretty. Can you see the building? Can you see that building there? It's really nice through here. Um, lovely little market town similar to where I live but yes we've got really pretty little part around here um, anyway okay so the dining room needs a very good clean um, so I'm going to hoover the table I love a nice kitchen hoover um, it's like a dust buster it's not that brand I don't know what it is it's just some cheap one um, and then I'm going to Hoop off the table um, and then clean the mats. So the table is hoovered. I've taken all the placemats off. I'm also going to take this card down because I always keep them up for a week. Um, any kind of occasion, special occasion cards, I take them down after one week. So it's now been a week. So I can take this one down. I've already taken the other ones down. Um, so yeah, that's the final one. So I'm just going to use this. scrubby side, abrasive side to begin with and then I flip it over and use the soft white side but it's crazy, I mean look, look how dirty the table gets, it's insane, ridiculous and that is all because those mats do not protect the tablecloth, it just goes straight through the mats, so if anyone says anything you wipe the tablecloth and it just seeps through and goes straight onto the, the cloth underneath. So can you see, of course you can, these marks here, that's literally just where things have spilt and then they've tried to kind of wipe it and it's just gone straight through the holes. So the only way to clean these, you have to actually put them in the washing up bowl, in the sink, and actually scrub them with... A sponge. I use the Dishmatic um, sponges um, and that's the only way you can clean it and it's such an effort every single time you have a meal and someone spills something you get left with these stains rather than just wipe it down that you, that's what you'd want to do you have to scrub it and put it on hot water and it's such a hassle so as nice as they do look when they're clean it's hard to keep them clean so I'm definitely going to get some more now, doesn't that look so much better? All clean and sparkling and lovely. What I need to do now is wipe the wall down and clean this because this is constantly covered in fingerprints. Using some Mr. Muscle. I spray it onto the cloth, not onto the metal. And we just wipe it down. There we go. And there's another one. We've also got this one here.
So the Hoover that I use is this Dyson Rollerball. Um, I'm not actually sure what the model is called or whatever. Um, but yeah, we have a Dyson for downstairs and a Shark for upstairs. And I actually prefer the Shark, I would say, but both of them are really good Hoovers. Does anyone else's dog constantly get in the way when you're trying to do the hoovering? It's like he doesn't like the hoover, but he like runs away from it, but then he gets in the way and sits in front of it. So I don't really know why he does this. What's the reason? It's like he's obsessed with the hoover, look. He's obsessed with it, but he doesn't like it. So it's like, if you don't like it, why don't you just go somewhere else? Oh my goodness me, they make it so hard. So, while Buster's staring at me, uh, he's waiting for his midday snack and it's not midday yet. He does this all morning until he gets his little treat, um, which I'm not going to say what it is, but it's um, something that they like to chew on, but it also cleans their teeth. He absolutely loves it. And as soon as he's had his breakfast in the morning, he follows me around all day, all morning, until he gets the next thing, even though it's hours later. Anyway, um, I have this for the rug. And I also have this one. I really like this one. The other one smells stronger, so I'm going to spray the other one. So I'm going to bleach the cups today. Some of them, I mean, this is the worst one, I would say. Some of them aren't that bad, actually. Um, these are like the worst ones that I've got, but I've just washed them up. Uh, this is the worst one, but I tell you what, um, chamomile, I think it's the chamomile tea. We have various herbal teas in the evening and they really stain the cup, some of them. I think it's the chamomile one that does it, but I'm not sure. But anyway, so I'm going to bleach the cup. I'm going to use, oops, I'm going to use this, just normal bleach and put them in and you'll see a difference that it makes. It's amazing. It's like brand new cups again. So I just put a little bit in there, like that. So I just put that, just enough in just to cover the bottom basically. And then it doesn't take long and it will soon completely get rid of the whole lot and then it's beautiful white again. Already it's literally been like four seconds and it's already changing colour and lifting which is amazing, you can literally see it happening. It's crazy. So here is the biggest transformation with this mug here. It was a mess and now look at it, perfect. So we have the beginnings of some Easter eggs. We have actually had a few um, little ones, you know, the mini, the, the little, you know, one, one, two pound ones that you can get. We've had a few of those, um, but we're saving the bigger ones. So we've got a little collection started. We've still got two weeks until Easter, um, but yes, here's a little collection so far. Come here, Stop. come here. Ready? Sit, Sally, sit. 
boy. Buster, are they horses? Good boy. Right, one more. Come on then. Come on, Buster. Go up this way. Buster, what's this? There's very panic mode you've got to see him, wasn't Come on. Good boy, come on then. Took them waiting. Done. Oh gosh. Sit, Sally. Sit. Good boy. Go on. Go. <laughs> Why do you want to run off? So yesterday we popped into town we actually i didn't take my camera because the plan was we were supposed to be um having a look there's a new gym that's opened up and we just wanted to you know have a little nose see what it's all about um and then it, it's in town in the high street so we walked around and after the gym we walked through the high street and i said oh let's pop in here you know normal shop sells a little bit bits of homeware and things like that which i love and they had these cushions, so I thought I would show them to you because you would have seen me hoovering and doing all of that stuff. And um, these cushions weren't here, so we bought some new ones. We bought these, um, which I just think they're quite nice. And they go nicely with, if you're wondering what that is on the wall, it almost looks like a spider. It's not, if I can reach it. Um, that's, there's like a strip, LED strip things going down the wall. That's just like part of that. Anyway, um, we're talking about the wallpaper. So that wallpaper, it goes really nicely with that. And it's a bit of a contrast. So before we had cushions that were the same as this, they came with the sofa, but they're quite annoying because they're like slouchy ones and they look quite messy. So we got some kind of like stiff, stiff ones like this. Um, and then we also have a navy one that we just up like that so we have that against this one um i don't like to chop cushions um i'm not a fan of <laughs> chopped cushions to be honest i like them to just be like straight um but yeah i really like them so we got those um we also got some placemats um and i can't remember what else so i will show you the placemats so this is the other cushion and i've just put it on the chesterfield um as you can see it's just quite like slouchy and baggy this is the one that came with the sofa so I needed a new cushion for this chair anyway. Um, so we've just put um, we've just put them on here basically. Um, and then we've got the new ones over on the other sofa. So that's what they used to look like. So these are the mats that we went with. We've had these before actually, but with a different um, tablecloth. They're not necessarily the ones I would have gone with to go with this particular tablecloth. However, they didn't have much in the shop and it was a case of because they were there, I just got them. Um, but I mean, they don't look too bad and I definitely think they look better than the other ones because like I showed you, they were just a nightmare to clean and they were, it was just so frustrating um, to try and keep them clean. So these are obviously, you can just wipe them down. Um, so yeah, they're not expensive or anything like that. Um, and they came in packs of four, of course they did, and we needed six. Um, this is a six seater table and chair. So, we had to get two packs of four so we've actually got eight of everything which is actually good i was thinking because if one gets damaged because they are only quite cheap um if they get damaged or something we can just replace it we've got two spare coasters and two spare placemats so that's perfect so yes that's what it looks like what do we think so i also bought some little seeds to grow in the garden. We've got tomatoes, peppers, carrots, and runner beans. Love these. 